food day, SketchUp for school's friends. I've got a project for you that has been enabled because of the awesome 3D text tool. It is a super simple keychain. I'd like you to start by doing a new model. And because we're going to 3D print it, it needs to be millimeters. Click on the person in the center and let's eliminate them at this point and let's switch to a rectangle. Click on your origin and I need you to make that rectangle 70 comma 25, which is a standard size I use for a keychain. At that point, use the view tool and zoom to extents. Switch to your push pull tool and let's pull that up two millimeters. Roll your scroll wheel back switch to your orbit tool and take a peek at your cool keychain you'll note that we need a nifty hole up here let's do our hole mathematically by switching to the tape measure tool and moving five millimeters in and then from that guide point come five millimeters down the green axis by typing five and pressing enter and that gives us a nice spot to make the circle hole that would be for a keychain when you click choose the circle tool, stretch out your circle tool, and let's do two millimeters, which will give you a four millimeter diameter circle. Switch to push pull and push that circle through or pull that circle through. I'm going to touch the end point so that it knows to cut it all the way out. The next part is the wicked cool 3D text tool. You click on your circle or the rectangle where it used to be. Put your cool text. I'm going to choose Mod Tech. I'm going to change fonts to the really nifty permanent marker. Because I made my keychain 25, I'm going to make it 22 millimeters high. I want it to only extrude 2 millimeters because that's how much I want to print. When I press Enter, it shows up. And I'm going to click on the face to press it down. I'm going to switch to the Scale tool. And then with the scale tool, you want to use the middle handle as you adjust your words to fit perfectly on your keychain. I'm going to nudge and pull it out just a little bit. I'm going to nudge this so it's right where I want. But essentially, you have already built a super cool keychain. I'm going to use pan to get it oriented so that it's where I like it. I'm going to switch to orbit and look at it from the top. Make sure I'm not running into that hole, and I am running into that hole. So I'm going to go back to the scale tool, and I want to move this one over just a little bit so that it's not bumping into the keychain hole. With that completed, I'm going to name it Keychain Mike H, and I'm going to tell it OK. It asked me where to put it, and I want to put it in my SketchUp folder. And then with it built, it is time. I'm going to do control Z. I did not mean to do that. I was going to select it all. It is time to export my project for 3D printing. So click the file tool, the file operations folder, and we want to download the STL file. Keychain mic STL, save it, and now you can open up whatever tool you 3D print with, and in no time you will have a wicked cool keychain of your creation. Thanks for following. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.